today we're going to do an oil change on a 2013 Chevy Tahoe. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is check up the car and secure it with jack stands. You're going to need an oil catch pan size 15 millimeter socket to remove the oil plug there it is 15 and you might need this nifty gasket well i'm sorry filter removal removal uh i already went ahead and did the process um lately i've been doing a lot of oil changes to different vehicles at this dealership and autostone's been giving me the wrong filters so i took off the filter match part number and there's a replacement sweet all right so this all this vehicle takes six freaking quarts man my mind's drawing a blank today six quarts of full synthetic oil 5w30 all right so let's go ahead and get started all right so we're gonna go ahead and creep right in here got my creeper with me boom and let's go ahead and turn on some light all right, so on this side, on the driver's side, we have where the filter is located. There it is. I went ahead and removed it so I could get the part number. So the new one is ready to be installed. And here's the new one. Nice, sweet. So we'll go ahead and screw that bad boy in. What I like to do is I guess we can grab it from this oil. Yeesh, I think I did my finger too much. I'm looking at the camera, I'm not looking at my finger. We'll just rub it right here. Let's go ahead and remove that from my finger. And we'll go ahead and screw that on. After we remove the drain plug. Uh, I capped it back in so I could remove the oil filter. So let's go ahead and do the process that we were bit to be beginning. Okay, so on the passenger side, right here, we have our 15 millimeter screw. And I'll just go ahead and remove this to finish draining the rest of the oil that got built up at the bottom. There it is. Oh, still a lot. Damn. So we'll let that completely drain. Could let that drain more, but that's fine. All right, there it is. So after all the oil drains, we'll move the pan over to this side. Remove the filter that is on this side. Boom, filter is removed. All right, and now we're gonna install the new one. So let me go ahead and install it real quick. All right, so there it is, and we're just gonna finish tightening it up. I don't think you should over tighten these. Just hand tighten uh, to where you can't anymore. Should be good enough. Because if you over tighten these, the rubber seal gets pinched and it breaks and it leaks. Then you have to replace the filter. Nice, right? All right, so let's get out of here now that everything is done. Actually, everything is not done. We need to secure that bolt. All right, and this one too, not too tight. Just enough. Don't wanna mess up the threads on that. But then you'll have to replace the whole oil pan. All right, so now let's get out of here and drop the vehicle. All right, once you remove the jack stands and the jack to lift it, we're gonna come over here. And, whoops, I forgot to mention. I removed the oil cap so that way it could breathe better. Now what we're gonna do is add the oil. Whoops, sorry about that. One of the reasons why I left it draining while I went to AutoZone. So that way I could just come back and slap it back in and I figured, let me make the video. So here goes the first quart out of six. We have a huge one over here. 
five quarts. But this one will be numero seis. Some Spanish for you. There it is. Get everything out. <laughs> Stuff ain't cheap. Alrighty then, time for the big boy. I might need both hands for this one. All right, so just go ahead and let. I'm trying to make sure not. <laughs> trying to make sure I don't spill it. <laughs> make sure you just go ahead and drop all six quarts in there. the funnel place the funnel onto here because we're gonna grab the oil and drain it into this one then take it to AutoZone for recycling cap it sweet and you're set I'm not sure if this has a oil life sensor on it so let's go inside and check it out all right so let's see if there is an oil life, let me see where your buttons are at. You are over here, and probably this one, odometer, it's tire pressure, engine hours, and oil life. Aha. So now to reset that, how do you reset that? I think you press OK. So we're going to press OK. We're gonna hold it. And there it is. Sweet, I was right. And that is how you reset the oil life as well. Man, I should have made a video just on how to reset that. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.